it's great Define to be here. Define the role <laughs> of a board. So I can do this in the short version, uh, but, but probably what we're going to be talking about for the next hour is also, we're going to be within that definition. But I'll start with the short version. So if you think about a board of directors, they are elected by the shareholders, and, and they really have one legal obligation, which is to use their business judgment uh, in the best interests of the company and the shareholders. Now, what that means and how it plays out in practice can take probably days to explain, but that's really sort of it in a nutshell. What kind of role and responsibilities does a board member have? Let me start by saying that how they play out in practice will depend quite a bit on the company. Uh, so you may have a public company, a private company, it could be a new company, a company that's in crisis, uh, so, and, and they'll be a little bit different, but, but there's a, a few buckets. And overall, what the board does is oversee management, and that has a number of implications. One would be hire and fire the CEO. Uh, another one would be to have a say in executive compensation. And a third would be to, to really kind of look at the company's capital allocation process. So, so how are they using their resources, their funds, to provide the best uh, value, you know, kind of long-term value. Another thing that they do is they oversee risk. And there's a number of aspects of that. It's about both the process and then really also overseeing, you know, sort of the large company risks, uh, the culture, uh, you know, some of the other aspects of risk. And I, and I know we're going to get into that in a little bit more detail a little bit later. And then the last big bucket, which is really critical to what a board does, is strategy. And the most important thing that a board can do is to a oversee the company for the future, but uh, for the pre the present. But but most importantly, to guide the company over the long term, and that's where the board's role in guiding strategy comes into play. Those are very serious responsibilities. Yes, they are. It is absolutely critical to get the right people on the board. And, and it's something where there's been a lot of attention given to it these days. Uh, there's been a big evolution in how people think about board composition. It used to be that, you know, you're just sort of playing golf with someone and it was, oh, you know, this is a nice person, you know, really love to spend some time with them. Why don't you, you know, kind of come into the boardroom. Um, those days are completely gone. It's, it's a much different process now than it was uh, in the past.